Hello and welcome to Game Boy Custom. In today's video, we're going to show you how to add a USB-C charging port, a headphone jack, and change the LED light on your Game Boy Advance SP. The tools you'll need for today's build are a regular screwdriver, a tri-wing screwdriver, a pair of tweezers, insulation tape, scissors, a fine tip soldering iron and some solder, and a hot glue gun. For this mod, we've already partially assembled the shell and installed the IPS screen. Now it's time to install the speaker, the buttons, and the rubber membranes. Parts you'll need for this install are a three and a half mil female ear jack connector, four pin, a LED light of your choice, and a USB-C charging port. The LED light is located in the top right of the PCB. In this instance, the customer wanted a purple LED to match the buttons. So we're going to show you how to remove the green LED light. We generally start by using our soldering iron and melting a little bit of solder to each side of the LED light. This way it loosens the solder and it's easier to remove. As the LED light is so small, we use a pair of pliers to hold it in place while soldering both sides. It's a good idea to test that the LED light works before installing it into the shell. Now that we can see it's working, it's time to go into the USB-C mod. We start by flipping the PCB upside down and heating the connectors with the soldering iron and then removing with the solder sucker. Then flip the PCB back around and repeat the process with the pins holding it in place. Once removed and cleaned up, your PCB should look something like this. Now it's time to solder the USB-C connector in place. Now with a fine tip solder iron, solder the left and right anchor points to ground the connection, followed by pin two for the voltage. Once you're happy with your soldering points, 
temporarily fit the Game Boy PCB back into the shell, insert the battery, and connect the USB-C to a charger to see if it functions. Now we move on to the final mod, the headphone jack adapter. We found that the easiest place to install the headphone jack adapter is in the bottom left hand side of the shell. Start by removing the shielding for the cartridge slot. Once your cartridge slot shielding has been removed, use your cutting pliers to remove the screw fastener in the bottom left hand corner. Ensure that you remove just enough plastic as it's a tight fit. Line up the socket and then use a 6mm drill piece to drill out the final hole. We found that this type of connector was a little bit too tight, so we went for a more flush mounted version. This new version of connector sits a lot more flush and a lot more neater in the shell. Now it's time for some soldering. The solder points on the PCB are R out, L out, the top of C25 resistor, then flip the board over to the charging port and pin 5 for ground. As pin 5 is on the opposite side of the board, you'll need to reroute a wire. Now solder wires to point R out, L out, and the top of C25 resistor. Pin 5 on the charging point, the earth point has to be soldered to pin 1 on the earphone jack. L out now needs to be soldered to pin 2 on the earphone jack. R out now needs to be soldered to pin 4 on the earphone jack. Now C25 needs to be soldered to pin 3 of the earphone jack. It's important to have C25 soldered correctly as this disables the external speaker when the earphone jack is plugged in. Once you're happy with your solder points, it's time to reinstall the faceplate for the cartridge slot. Now use some double-sided tape to temporarily hold the earphone jack in place until you're happy with the positioning.
Once happy with the fitment of the earphone jack, we used hot glue to keep it in place. We then used some tape for shielding, double tested the connections before reassembling the shell. Now it's time to enjoy your fully modded Game Boy Advance SP. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe.